Consider this. What if the buzzing bees suddenly disappeared from our planet? Bees, the unsung heroes of our ecosystem and agriculture, tirelessly work behind the scenes. Every morsel of food we enjoy, every blossom that brightens our gardens, owes a debt of gratitude to these tiny pollinators. Yet their buzz is growing fainter by the day, their dance less vibrant. It's time we understand the gravity of this situation and explore the threats our buzzing friends face. Every day, bees buzz off, never to return to their hives, but why? Let's delve into the world of these industrious creatures to understand the threats they are facing. Bees are under siege on multiple fronts, and one of the major challenges they encounter is habitat loss. As we humans expand our cities and agriculture, we inadvertently destroy the wildflowers and natural landscapes that bees call home. Without these, bees cannot find the food and shelter they need to survive. In addition to habitat loss, bees are also being threatened by the widespread use of certain pesticides. These chemicals, especially those known as neonicotinoids, are incredibly harmful to bees. They can contaminate nectar and pollen, which bees then carry back to their hive, poisoning entire colonies. This leads to a phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder, where worker bees mysteriously disappear, leaving the queen and a few nurse bees behind. Climate change is another factor that's putting bees in danger. Unpredictable weather patterns, rising temperatures and shifting seasons can disrupt the life cycle of bees, affecting their breeding patterns and food availability. Bees, like many of nature's creatures, rely on certain cues from nature to know when to forage, breed and migrate. These cues are becoming increasingly erratic due to climate change. Lastly, but certainly not least, Bees are grappling with various diseases and parasites, such as the varroa mite and American fowl brood. These pests weaken bees, making them more susceptible to other threats and reducing their lifespan. All these threats are interconnected, creating a domino effect that's causing a steep decline in the bee population worldwide. And this isn't just bad news for the bees, it's a cause for alarm for us humans too. Bees are the world's most important pollinators, playing a crucial role in the production of much of the food we eat. The decline in bee population is not just a loss for nature, but a major threat to our food supply. Imagine a world without honey. But it's not just about honey, is it? No, it's about much more than the sweet golden syrup we slather on toast or stir into tea. Bees play a crucial role in our global food supply, a role that is often overlooked and undervalued. The humble bee is one of nature's most diligent workers, busying themselves from dawn to dusk, pollinating a vast array of our fruits, vegetables, and nuts. In fact, a staggering one-third of all food we consume relies on bee pollination. From the crisp apples in your lunchbox, to the steaming cup of morning coffee, from the juicy blueberries in your smoothie, to the almonds in your salad, all these foods have one thing in common. They depend on bees. It's not just our food either. The cotton in your clothes, the sunflowers that brighten up your garden, even the hay that feeds our livestock, all owe their existence to the tireless work of bees. But the decline in bee populations worldwide threatens this intricate interconnected food web. Without these tiny pollinators, our supermarket shelves would look considerably barer, our diets would be less diverse, and our world would be less colorful. This is not just a hypothetical scenario. In areas where bee populations have plummeted, the effects are already palpable. Apple and cherry orchards in China, for example, have resorted to hand-pollinating their trees, a labor-intensive and costly process. Yet, the consequences extend beyond our plates and wallets. Bees are an integral part of our ecosystems, helping countless plants reproduce, which in turn provide habitat for a variety of wildlife, store carbon, and replenish our air with oxygen. The loss of bees would send ripple effects through our ecosystems, disrupting the delicate balance of nature and impacting our lives in ways we can hardly fathom. So the next time you enjoy a slice of apple pie or slip on a cotton t-shirt, remember the little creatures that made it possible. The disappearance of bees would mean a catastrophe for our food system. And it's not an exaggeration to say that it would be a catastrophe for life as we know it. Before we continue, take a moment to subscribe and like this video to spread awareness about this crucial issue. By doing so, 
You're joining a community committed to protecting these tiny yet mighty pollinators. Every like, every share, every subscription boosts the reach of this message, making a world of difference for our buzzing friends. Together we can bring about change, one click at a time. So let's put our digital thumbs to work for the bees. Now let's explore how each one of us can make a difference. You might be thinking, what can I do to help the bees? Well, there are numerous ways each of us can contribute to the protection and support of these essential pollinators. Let's explore some of these solutions. Firstly, let's consider our own backyards, gardens or even balconies. Creating a bee-friendly environment can be as simple as planting bee-attractive flowers. Bees love a variety of flowers such as lavender, sunflowers and wild roses. They're attracted to the colors and the sweet nectar these flowers produce. But remember, it's important to plant native species as they're best suited to your local bee populations. And let's not forget about providing a small water source for these hard-working creatures. A shallow dish with a few stones for bees to land on will do the trick. Next, let's talk about pesticides. These chemicals are one of the major threats to bees. You can help by reducing or completely eliminating pesticide use in your home and garden. If pests are a problem, consider using natural alternatives. For instance, introducing beneficial insects like ladybugs or praying mantises can be an effective way to combat pests. It's also worth noting that many weeds like dandelions and clover are vital food sources for bees, so maybe next time think twice before pulling out that weed. Now, onto the bigger picture, supporting sustainable farming practices. This might sound a little daunting, but it's simpler than you think. One way to do this is by choosing to buy organic or locally grown produce. Organic farming limits the use of synthetic pesticides, which is better for bees. And buying locally grown food not only supports your local farmers, but also reduces the carbon emissions associated with long distance food transportation. Another way you can help is by becoming a beekeeper. This might not be for everyone, but it's an incredibly rewarding and educational hobby. Not only will you be providing a habitat for bees, but you'll also get the bonus of fresh honey. If this seems like too much of a commitment, consider sponsoring a hive. Many local beekeepers and organizations offer hive sponsorship programs. Lastly, spread the word. Educate your friends, family and community about the importance of bees and what they can do to help. Remember, change often starts with a conversation. Helping bees can be as simple as planting a flower or choosing organic produce. Every little effort counts. So let's all do our part to ensure these amazing creatures continue to buzz around, pollinating our plants and supporting our ecosystems. After all, a world without bees is a world without almonds, apples, avocados and so much more. Let's not take that risk. It's clear that bees are vital to our survival and they need our help. These small creatures, often overlooked in the grand scheme of things, play a monumental role in our ecosystems and our global food supply. We've delved into the importance of bees as key pollinators. They help plants reproduce, leading to the production of fruits, vegetables and nuts that make up a significant part of our diets. Imagine a world without strawberries, almonds or even coffee. That's the world we're looking at if bees continue to decline, and decline they have. Threats such as habitat loss, pesticides, climate change and disease are pushing bee populations towards perilous lows. Our actions, both big and small, have contributed to this. We've manipulated landscapes, subjected them to harmful chemicals, and altered the climate, making it harder for bees to survive. But it's not all doom and gloom. We've also explored how each of us can contribute to the solution. By creating bee-friendly environments in our yards or balconies, we provide much-needed habitats for these pollinators. Planting a variety of flowers that bloom throughout the year, providing a water source, and avoiding pesticides can all make a huge difference. We can also support sustainable farming practices. By choosing to buy organic and locally sourced produce, we encourage farmers to adopt methods that are kinder to bees and the environment. And let's not forget the power of knowledge. By educating ourselves and others about the importance of bees, we can help to change attitudes and inspire action. The journey to save the bees is a collective one. It's about making choices that may seem small, but when added together can have a huge impact. 
It's about acknowledging the importance of every creature, no matter how small, in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Remember, each one of us has the power to make a difference. Let's not wait until the buzz goes silent.